Least temperamental artists I've ever worked with, mm. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a good voice. She does have a great voice. voice. Really yeah. showcased it there. All right, right number right. nine. <laughs> December 25th is known as Christmas Day, but that wasn't always the case. The exact date of Jesus' birth is not mentioned in the Bible. In fact, the Bible doesn't even mention the time of year. Some accounts from around 200 AD say it happened January 6th. But most historians believe Jesus was born in the spring. By mid-fourth century, Christmas became an official holiday held on December 25th. Historians say it was picked to coincide with the ancient Roman festival of Saturnalia. It honored the agricultural god Saturn with celebrating and gift giving. Hmm. Old yeah, Saturnalia. Yeah. <laughs> the old Surprised that didn't stick, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number eight, some traditional Christmas decorations go all the way back to ancient Egyptians and Romans. They marked the winter solstice with evergreens as a reminder that spring would return. So you're throwing it back with your decorations. As for the Christmas tree, you can thank Prince Albert of Germany for that. In the 1800s, he introduced a tree to his new wife, Queen Victoria of England. A drawing of the couple in front of their tree appeared in a newspaper, and as we say today, the idea went viral. Viral, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all over social media. Yeah, yeah the they're like yeah. tweet, reshare. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, number seven, hanging stockings by a fireplace seems like a strange idea when you think about it, but the tradition may have started by accident. According to legend, we hang stockings thanks to a poor man who didn't have enough money for his three daughters' dowries. So generous old St. Nick dropped a bag of gold down their chimney one night where the girls had hung their stockings to dry. That's where the gold ended up, and that's how the tradition began. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. So we're not entirely yeah. sure. Yeah. That could have all been a lie. We don't yeah. know. <laughs> Sources. I'm say. pretty sure it's true, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Number six. Celebrating Christmas used to be illegal, believe it or not. Starting in 1659, uh, Puritans who settled in Boston outlawed celebrating the holiday. Anyone caught would face a fine. And 12 years later, the law was revoked. But after the Revolutionary War, Christmas still wasn't widely celebrated in the U.S. In fact, it was so unimportant that Congress even <laughs> held a session on December 25th, 1789. Christmas wasn't named a federal holiday for almost another century. Wow. Hmm. Well, number five this morning, you party already know that Santa Claus began as St. Nicholas. While he did have a beard, he didn't wear a red suit at first. According to legend, St. Nicholas was a Christian bishop in the fourth century who gave away his inheritance to help the needy and rescued women from servitude. In Dutch, his name was Sinterklaas, which later morphed into Santa Claus. And now it's the Santa Claus we all know and love. Right. The big red jolly guy that comes I to your like house. I like all this historical context yeah. now. Mm -hmm. like we're mm -hmm. making the holiday more here. enjoyable mm -hmm. somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Morgan. Sure, got it. Number four, the police in Rochester, Minnesota, had a nice way to tell people to stay safe and to wish, to wish them a Merry Christmas. Check it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chief Jim Franklin. On behalf of the Rochester Police Department, I want to wish you a very happy holiday season and give you a friendly reminder to drive safe this holiday season. sitting in each of the cars like ready to go yeah. right because it's not yeah. like it's an electronic yeah it's supposed to be on beat six not seven yeah like what if one of them messed up they had to start all over no first try that's what practice is for right? <laughs> mm -hmm. that's cool that is very cool yeah. Trans Siberian orchestra right all right yeah that was cool that's definitely it 
Number three, these days fans of the iPhone and other Apple products are sometimes really devoted to the brand, eagerly await every new announcement. But back in 1983, Apple was still trying to develop a following, so at Christmas time that year, they had a gift catalog. You could get t-shirts for the whole family or even a jigsaw puzzle of one of the earliest computers. There we go, there's the t-shirts. Look at them. Mm -hmm. How about a rug wall hanging? What's that? Oh, it's remember, a, it's, remember it's, it's, a, it's a rug that hangs yes. on the yeah. My you know, grandpa used those? to make these. <laughs> I used to make yes. those. Yes. So, what were they called? Um, um, the little, like, latch, latch hooks. Yep. Yes. Wow. Those were fun. I loved those. Look they at that. They got the necklaces. That's a throwback. I don't know. We could, let's latch hook. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get together and latch hook this weekend. Yeah. Eh? I'm surprised that you guys fun. came up with that. I have no idea what you're talking about. You get the little piece of yarn, and yeah. you get the little latch, and you put it through the thingy. Yeah, like a hook rug. They used to call them hook rug kids. Yes. Okay. Those are fun. Yeah. Fun. All they're, right, so they're, they're they should officially, come back. They are officially back right now. Yeah. <laughs> now they're back. All right, let's take a look at number two. <laughs> Christmas is almost here. Time to pass the kanyu. It's a special Christmas bread formed in the shape of the baby Jesus. It's popular in Belgium and northern France. The sweet brioche is often decorated with raisins, chocolate, or sugar. Sometimes it's a long piece of dough with a baby from uh, made from sugar, all snug and nestled in the middle. The kids love it with hot chocolate. That's supposed to look like baby I'm Jesus. I'm not sure I see the baby <laughs> Jesus really? in that bread. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy. It's like right. a croissant. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one of those, this potato chip looks right. like the the baby Jesus. Yeah. No, it doesn't. There's like a yeah, sleeping not, hippopotamus. I think not it's really, yeah. The <laughs> swaddle. I know that. That hippo is sleeping. That hippo is yeah. sleeping because you can't see it. The legs are tucked under there. <laughs> uh, we're bringing the Everybody sees what their eyes see. Yeah. All right, number one, we are excited for Santa, but no one can compare to Ryan Gosling and Vanessa Bayer in this classic SNL sketch. Dad, hey. is Santa coming soon? Tell you what, bud, I'm gonna go up there in a couple of minutes and uh, see if he's ready to come down and talk to the kids. <laughs> he's upstairs? He's here. <clears throat> well, we'd very much like to meet him. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, uh, Cindy and I drove up to Yosemite last month. Oh, gosh, that must have been gorgeous. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I is Santa here? <laughs> yes or no? Uh, I mean, yeah, he usually makes an appearance. He's here, baby. I love you so much, I love you so much and he's here, oh, baby. Oh, just tell me oh, baby. I love you so much, baby. <laughs> yeah, you mean Santa, baby. I love you, baby. I love you so much. Okay, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> David? <clears throat> now, I know you don't know us very well. We're just new to this neighborhood. But I promise you, <laughs> we won't let you down on this. Okay? You can trust us on this. <sighs> I don't know what you think is going on here tonight, but you're not going to meet the real Santa. <laughs> No. No. Uh-uh. Can't do that, David. I'm sorry. I cannot, in good conscience, pass on an opportunity to thank that beautiful man for bringing me presents every Christmas until my parents left at a very young age. I want to meet Rudolph. <laughs> Rudolph isn't here, Gina. <laughs> then how the f did Santa get here, David? No, just relax. <laughs> There you go. That's the nine to nine, folks. <laughs> <laughs>